everybody. Once again, welcome to another edition of Tic Tac Toe right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have y'all with us. Got some great games in store for you guys today, and let's get right to meeting our contestants for our first game here of Tic Tac Toe. Returning back in the exposition, my first interim champion, whose four game cash winnings total $51,550, it's Kevin. Kevin, welcome back to Tic Tac Toe. Hi, Brandon. Great to be back here. Uh, Fortunately, you couldn't be with us last week. You had some things that had to be taken care of, but we're back here. You ready to defend yeah. your championship once again? I am ready. Well, if you could successfully pick when this game here will move you into second place on the leaderboard, and ironically enough, it will put you ahead of your opponent today, playing in the circle position, we have Erica. Erica, welcome back to Tic Tac Toe. Hi, thanks for having me again. I don't know, glad to have you with us. You got a tough opponent, Kevin. He's had a pretty good run at the board in the questions so far. And your your second place spot on the leaderboard right now is up for grabs. Do you think you can hold him off? We will see. We, wish we shall. Best of luck to both of you and best of luck to all our contestants today on Tic Tac Toe. Let's get right to the board and take a look at our first nine subjects for this game of Tic Tac Toe. And they are... <laughs> We have Fun and Games, the WWE, Grab Bag, the Secret Category, Music, Art and Architecture, the Challenge Category, Science, and Opponent's Choice. Now, of course, you know the Secret Category. Get that question correct. We double all the money that's in the pot. The Challenge Category, I will, give you a, I will ask you a question. You choose to either answer that question or pass it to your opponent. Whoever answers the question, if you get it right, you get the box. If you're wrong, your opponent gets the box. And of course, opponent's choice, I'll give your opponent two categories to choose from. They will pick the category, and you must answer a question from that category for the box. All right? Game number one here on episode 25 underway. Our interim champion starts. Kevin, please select. Um, let's go with science. Science in the bottom center box. Here comes your question under science, and good luck to you once again. True or false? On the periodic table of elements... The letter N represents the element nickel. Is that statement true or false? False. That's nitrogen. You are correct. It is nitrogen. Well done. Put an X on the board there. We have our first $200 in the pot. Let's move the categories around. And Erica, make your first selection. Uh, let's start in the middle with grab bag. All right, grab bag in the center box is a two-part question. You'll have some extra time to think about it, right? Here comes your two-part grab bag questions. First off, Erica, which of these was not written by the American novelist John Steinbeck? Was it A, East of Eden, B, The Grapes of Wrath, C, The Sun Also Rises, or D, Of Mice and Men? That's the first one. The second one is, how many more weeks of winter are forecast when the groundhog does not see his shadow? Or, sorry, when the groundhog does see its shadow. How many more weeks of winter are forecast when the groundhog sees his shadow? Is it A, 2, B, 4, C, 6, or D, 10? All right, here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Erica, which one would you like to answer first? Second one. Second one, all right. How many more weeks of winter are forecast when the groundhog sees its shadow? Is it A, 2, B, 4, C, 6, or D, 10? C, 6 Yes, weeks? Is six more weeks of winter is correct. Now for the center box and $300. Which of these was not written by the American novelist John Steinbeck? Is it A, East of Eden, B, The Grapes of Wrath, C, The Sun Also Rises, or D, Of Mice and Men? C, The Sun Also Rises. You got it both. Well done. Put a no up there. Nicely done. $300 in the pot. Up to $500 total now. Let's shuffle the categories. And Kevin, we're back to you. I gotta go with science again. Going science, lower left-hand corner. Here comes your next science question. All right, Kevin. Fallen arches is a medical problem that occurs in which part of the human body? The foot. Foot or feet is correct. Nicely done. Put an X on the board. 
Another seven hundred dollars in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. <laughs> Eric, over to you. Oh, I really don't know WWE, so I. Uh, <clears throat> I'll take science. All right, going science, left side of the board. All right, here comes your science question. This one is also true or false. Erica, true or false? The most brightly colored animals are usually the females. Is that statement true or false? False, bright, or males. That is correct. Well done. Put it all on the board. $900 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And Kevin, over to you. Oh, I'm going to have to go with the challenge category. All right, challenge category. All right. Here, this challenge here question again. I will read you the question. You'll have a choice to either answer it or you can pass it to your opponent. Once you decide that, I will read the four choices. Whoever answers the question, if you get get it correct, it will. You'll get the box. If you're wrong, your opponent gets the box. All right. Here comes your. Here comes your challenge category question. All right. As we know, a president-elect Donald Trump won the recent election to become the next president of the United States. On what date does the president's term of office begin? Now, do you want to answer this question, or do you want to pass it to Erica? I'm going to answer. Okay. On what date does president-elect Donald Trump's term of office begin? Is it A, January 1st, B, January 15th, C, January 20th, or D, January 31st? January 20th. January 20th is correct for Tic-Tac-Toe. Oh. Nicely done. Okay. Good game, Erica. Good game. Well done, Kevin. Another $1,100, putting you now second place on the leaderboard. Now trying to see if you can make a run for Marty's total. Add that 1100 to your score, giving you a grand total of... $52,650, and you'll be playing the bonus right. round in just a moment. Erica, again, played a great game. Fortunately, just bad category placement on the board kind of yep. maybe ruled you out there. But we thank you. For, did. We thank you for playing, and we'll definitely have you back for another episode, all right? Thanks for having me. No, Good luck. No problem. All right, Kevin, come on over here. Let's see if you can take down Fluffy in the bonus round. All right. Alright, Kevin, it's been a while since you've been over here, but let me remind you how this works. Your objective, of course, is to get to $1,000 or find the tick and the tack on the board to win your cash prize. If you find $1,000 in cash, we're going to multiply your pot winnings times the number of uncovered boxes still remaining on the board. If you find tick and tack on any of your two picks, you win the tic tac jackpot, which currently stands at $18,000. However, if you can find Tick Attack on your first two picks, I will double it and make it $36,000. And if you find Tick Attack on any two picks, you will have a chance to play the Super Bonus game to earn even more money. Are you ready? All right. I'm ready. Good luck to you. Let's shuffle the board. <laughs> Fluffy, go hide and stay there. All right, Kevin. Where would you like to begin? Hmm. Uh, anyone in the audience have any suggestions? I've never been let down before by you guys, so let's see. All right, Kevin needs some help uh, here, guys. Call, help. Some, call some numbers out. Start with five. All right. I heard five, so let's go with five right in the middle. All right, center box, number five, behind the five. You have $100, right. you're on your way. You need 900 or okay. ticket tag. Now, remember, if you, find, you feel like you're going to find the dragon at any time, you can stop and take the money that you've already won. All right, what else, guys? Nine. Nine corners sounds good. All right. Yeah, corners. Let's go with nine. All right, number nine, lower right-hand corner, behind nine. There's the tag. Ooh, all right. All right, find the tag. I'll give you $18,000. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. With one. Make a nice diagonal. Number one, upper left-hand corner, looking for tag for 18000 behind one. Okay. Got 250. Okay. 250. Mm. You're up to 350 now. You need 650 or tack. All right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Seven. Seven. I like lucky number seven. 
Lucky seven, lower left-hand corner, behind number seven. There's 500. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Well, Slowly but surely. Yeah, it all comes down to this. This will be your last pick here, Kevin. You need any okay. any cash amount, get you the jackpot. Find tack, it gets you $18,000. Find the dragon, it will bring tears of sorrow. Hell, oh, I don't want those tears. Um, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Three. Three. Okay, let's make a nice three for a good pattern there. All right, you were in the X. Three would make the X. We want to see anything but a dragon for the win behind number three. It's the Yay! Ten Jack the winner. Yay! All right, thank you, guys. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Another eighteen thousand dollars. Ow. Well played. Eighteen grand is all yours, but. You now have a chance to earn even more money by playing the Super Bonus Game. And I think, by far, you've had one of the better opportunities than anybody to cash in yes. on the big money. There are really lucky. There are four boxes left on the board. Two, four, okay. six, and eight. If you could find the dragon on this next pick, I will double that 18000 to make it $36,000. If you don't find mm -hmm. the dragon, whatever cash amount you find, I multiply it by ten, and we'll add that to your bonus game. All right. All right. Sounds good. So uh, what is going to be? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pick an even number. I think, Brandon. <laughs> well, that, that um, cuts down know. the choices think? a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? Uh, Brad. Oh, me. Two, ooh, see, I was between two and eight, and I heard both of those because that's my uh, August second's my birthday. So let's try. I was I was feeling the two first. Let's go with two. All right, we want to see a dragon behind two to give away our first <laughs> super bonus of the game. For thirty six thousand dollars is the dragon behind two. No, oh, it's another right. four thousand dollars though. Okay, I'll add that it. to your winning gives you a bonus rounds total of $22,000 in cash. Right. Add that to your previous winnings. Now gives you a five game cash winnings total. $77,650 all in cash. Nice. Well done. You are definitely now number two on the leaderboard. Let's take a look. See where the dragon was hiding. Four, six, or eight. Where was he at? Oh, oh, if you went with the eight, you so would have close. had it. Yeah. You picked the right two, you just picked the wrong one of the two. But nicely done, <laughs> though, sir. All right, $77,650. We're going to take a commercial break to find a way to pay him off some of this money. And we'll be back with another contestant right after this. Don't go anywhere. Right. All right, welcome back to Tic Tac Doe, everyone. Kevin picking up an impressive bonus round cash total of $22,000, bringing him up to $77,650. And now he's ready to see if he can climb that leaderboard even higher and defend his interim championship against our next opponent. Playing in the circle position, he's the master of the Joker's Wild himself. It's Alex. Alex, welcome back. Thank you. You got a very tough opponent in Kevin here as a good player. You think you've got what it takes you can take him down and claim the interim crown for yourself? Well, I'll try my best here. Well, I know you can do it. Good luck to both of you. Let's get right to the board and take a look at your categories for our second game of Tic-Tac-Toe. And they are... <clears throat> we have Movies, Economics, The Secret Category, Double or Nothing, Take a Letter, General Knowledge, Language, Entertainment, <laughs> And number, please. Now, this one, of course, you know, uh, double or nothing. You have a chance to earn two boxes in the same turn. Number, please category is a question with a numerical answer. You're going to go back and forth trying to guess the exact answer of the question. Um, first person will, whoever picked the category will guess first. If they're wrong, I'll tell the second pl player either higher or lower, and they'll adjust their answer accordingly. First person to get the correct answer right on the nose we'll win the box and take the money all right game number two underway kevin you're the interim champion you start 
Where would you like to begin? Uh, all right. Let's do take a letter. Take a letter in the center. Again, take a letter, a two-part question. You'll have some extra time to think about it. All right, Kevin, your two letters are L and S. L and S. All right. First off is the L. What L is a small rock avalanche or huge majority in an election? That's the, that's the first one. And the second one is S. What S was a king of Israel who was famous for his wisdom? All right. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Kevin, which one would you like to answer first? Um, I'll try the first one. L, I think, is landslide. That is correct. And the second one, okay. what S was the king of Israel who was famous for his wisdom? Um, i say the king that's an S that I know, uh, Solomon. King Solomon is correct. Good job. Yay. All right. X takes the box. $300 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And Alex, it's your selection. Hmm. Why don't we try entertainment in the top left? All right, entertainment, top left corner. Here comes your question under entertainment. All right, Alex, here comes your question under entertainment. It's true or false? True or false? British singer Seal proposed to Heidi Klum in an igloo inside a snow cave atop a 14,000 foot high glacier. Is that statement true or false? I want to say that's true. And that is true. You're correct. Put it all in the box. Nicely done. $500 now in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And Kevin, we're back to you. Mm. Let's go with general knowledge. General knowledge, left side of the board. Here comes your question under general knowledge. All right, Kevin. Business school graduates usually have an MBA. What does this abbreviation stand for? Is it um, Masters of Business Administration? That is correct. Nicely done. All right. Put an X on the board. $700 now in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And Alex, we're back to you. Secret category for the block. All right, get this question correct under secret category. Not only will you have a block, we will double everything in the pot to $1,400. Get this correct. Here is your secret category question. What does a protractor measure? Is it A, velocity, B, humidity, C, angles, or D, land evaluation that would be C angles and that is correct you've doubled the pot nicely done put it all up there uh -huh. for the block I am so glad I paid attention in school I know <laughs> it paid off here $1,400 in the pot now let's shuffle the categories and control goes back to you Kevin oh I guess I'll have to do double or nothing for the block all right, get this question correct. Under double or nothing, you will have potential for a block, but you also have a chance to go for a second box if you so choose. Here comes your first part of your double or nothing question. All right, Kevin. In which musical did Topol, that's T-O-P-O-L, play a singing milkman? Is it A, Gypsy, B, Fiddler on the Roof, C, Cats, or D, Miss Saigon? Oh, just for my knowledge, musicals are not 100%, but I'm going to say Fiddler on the Roof. Fiddler on the Roof is correct. Oh, good, okay. Now, you can stop and take that box and have the block, or you could risk it and go for double or nothing by choosing another box on the board. What would you like to do? I go double or nothing to the categories reshuffle. No, the categories don't reshuffle. Hmm. They stay exactly okay. where they're at. Yeah, I just want to double check. I'm going to... Oh, this is risky, but... I'm going to double or nothing and go to secret. 
category. Okay, get this question correct under the secret category. It'll be tic-tac-toe and $3,200. Get it wrong, you lose both boxes. All right? Okay. Here, here comes your double or nothing question. Good luck. Uh, sorry, your secret category question. Under secret category, here is the question. In the Bible, who wore a coat of many colors? Ah! Is it Joseph. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that was kind of multiple choice. Well, let me read the choice. Do you want to go with Joseph? Okay. Yes! Well, Joseph was the first answer I was going to read anyways. But you're right, All you right. tic tac go. Nicely Yay. done! Sorry to interrupt. That was, uh, I was in that musical. <laughs> I said, it's okay. Nicely done. That is tic-tac-toe, sir. Well done. All Let me right. make sure I put the money up here in the correct order. There it Ooh. is. Thank you. Good game, Alex. Great game. All done. You took advantage of the double or nothing in your favor. Taking home another $3,200 in cash. Bringing, awesome. bringing your total Great. now up to eighty thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars oh, and you'll wow. be playing the bonus round in just a minute well alex i thought you played you played a good game he just got lucky and got that double or nothing question right when he needed it to pick up that victory there but you've yeah. been a, you've always been a great player and i thank you for coming back to tic-tac-toe and love to have you back again and take another shot at the board i'll be, I'll be waiting Alright, no problem, Alex. Alright, Kevin, you got to 80,000. Let's see if you can maybe make it almost 100,000 in the bonus round. Come on over here. Alright. Alright, Kevin, you made it back to bonus round. Since you won the jackpot last game, we've reset the jackpot again back to $10,000. So take a tackle, get you ten thousand. Get in your first two picks. We'll double it, make it twenty thousand dollars. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Good luck to you. Let's <laughs> shuffle the board. Long shuffle on this one, and whenever you're ready, start picking. Good luck to you. All right. Any numbers, guys? What do you think? I I like the luck of the audience has been so far. Uh, four. Okay, let's try four. All right, number four, left side of the board, behind four. There's All two, right. 250, good. good start. You need 750 or tick attack. All right, what say you, Tim? I, I see your light lighting up, but I don't hear you. Okay, um, let's try, I think number three would be a good one. I like three, that sounds good. Let's do three, right. come on. Three, upper right-hand corner, behind three. <laughs> Tick. Nope, 150 okay, there. Okay. After 400 now. All you right, need 600 right. or ticket tech. Anyone else have a suggestion? Um, one. Go with eight. Okay, let's take my birth month. Eight. Eight. Let's do eight. Well, Dragon was here last time. So hopefully he's moved from here. Behind box eight. Oh! oh! Lazy dragon! <laughs> He didn't move, unfortunately, no. so... Oh, he's lucky. late. Go back to the can or the cave or whatever. You're a lazy drag. Get out of here. Get out of our sight. Uh, well, Kevin, unfortunately, no more bonus money this time around. Let's reveal the rest of the board, see where everything was. Tick was behind uh, number six. Ooh. Tack was behind number five. Center board. And had you went down the far left side of the board, it would have been a three-hit win right there in the cash money. All right. Well, no bonus money this time, but you're still up to eighty thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars, and you're going to I'm going to play another opponent right after we take this short commercial timeout. We'll be right back with more Tic Tac Toe right after this. All right, welcome back to Tic Tac Toe. Kevin unfortunately ran flat face first into the dragon in that last bonus game, <laughs> but he's still our interim champion now. Six wins, eighty thousand eight fifty. You're two wins away from matching Marty's re record run, but you're very close in the cash amount to catch him as well. But we'll see if you can get there, but you've got a tough opponent playing against you again, this time in the circle position. We have Corey. Corey, welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe. Hey, thanks, Brandon. 
Absolutely. So, Corey, just a little insider info for you guys, got to go out to Los Angeles with our current champion, Kyle, when he had his appearance on Wheel of Fortune, and just tell him some of the fun things you guys got to saw out there real quick. Uh, the the main prime one that we got to see was the Paley Center for Digital Media and uh, uh, TV Archives. Which was really a good experience in and of itself. Absolutely. I mean, there's a cool video for him. I'll see if I remember to put the link down in the description so you guys can check this out. A uh, really cool link of them actually spinning a their replica backup wheel of the Price is Right, them having their own little mini showcase showdown. I thought that was cool and fun. And just to actually see some of the exhibits the guys you were looking at was awesome. I enjoyed that myself. Mm-hmm. Well, you've Ready, you were able, able to do some cool things out there. You ready to win some cash here? Mm -hmm. All right, then let's get right to it. Let's take a look at your next nine subjects on the board for this game of Tic-Tac-Toe. And they are... We have the secret category, television, history and politics, geography, sports and leisure, the jumping category, food and drink, the bonus category, and potluck. Of course, again, as you know, secret category doubles the amount of cash in the pot if you get the question correct. Jump in category, I will ask you both a question. First one to type buzz in the chat will get you buzzed in on the podium. Get the question correct, you will get the box. If you're wrong, your opponent has a chance to steal it. Uh, we have food and drink. Elf, jump in category, by the way, is also a multiple choice question as well. Uh, and then um, bonus category is a three-part question. Give me all three parts of the question correctly, and you'll get another turn immediately. Okay? Game number three underway here on this edition of Tic-Tac-Toe. Kevin, of course, you're the interim champion. You get to start. All right, let's try sports and leisure. Sports and leisure in the center. Again, a two-part question. You'll have extra time to think about it, all right? Here comes your question under sports and leisure. All right. Here's your two-part question. The first one is the true or false. True or false. When the Air Jordan 1 line of sneakers was first introduced, they were banned by the National Basketball Association. Is that statement true or false? That's the first one. The second one is the first baseball World Series game played outside the United States was played in what Canadian city in 1992? All right. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Kevin, which one would you like to answer first? Mm, not sure of either, so let's try the first one, the true or false. All right, first one, true or false. When the Air Jordan 1 line of sneakers was first introduced, they were banned by the, NAS the National Basketball Association, the NBA. Is that statement true or false? I'm going to guess true. That is correct. They were banned, which is oh, wild, good. considering they were actually a really good, high-quality sneaker for playing basketball. Yeah. Anyway, now for the second part, for the second question in the center box for three hundred dollars, the first baseball World Series game played outside the United States was played in what Canadian city in nineteen ninety two? I think they have a team here, so I think I'm going to guess Toronto. Yes, it was Toronto. Oh. You are correct. Nicely done. Put an X on the board. We got three hundred dollars now in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And, Corey, we're over to you. Please make a selection. Television and top left. All right. Television, top left corner. Here comes your question. All right, Corey, what television game show celebrated its 40th anniversary on September 4th, 2012? That would be Price is Right. You're correct. Nicely done. Put it all on the board. $500 now in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And, Kevin, we're back to you. Mm. Um, let's try secret category. Secret category, right side of the board. Get this question correct, we'll double the cash pot and make it $1,000 in cash in there. Here comes your secret category question. All right, Kevin, here it is. Which pigment gives vegetation its green color? Which pigment gives vegetation its green color? Is it A, chloroform, 
B, chlorine, C, chlorophyll, or D, chloride? Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is correct. Nicely done. Double the pot. Just like that, we're already up to $1,000. Let's shuffle the categories. And, Corey, it's your selection. I'll take the bonus category, please, to block. All right, bonus category, left side of the board. Again, a three-part question this time. If all three parts question correct, you'll have another turn immediately. This is for a block, so here it is. Corey, your bonus category is dealing with television. Here it is. I need you right. to name me three of the six kids from the Brady Bunch TV show. Marsha, Jan, and Bobby. That's three of them. You did it. Nicely done. Put it all on the board. The other three, of course, were um, um, Cindy, Jan, and Greg. Marsha, Cindy, Jan, Peter, Bobby, and Greg were all six names there, but you got that successfully correct. $1,200 in the pot, and since you got the bonus question correct, you get another turn immediately. So let's shuffle the categories. And your selection. Secret for the win. All right, get this secret category question correct. It is Tic-Tac-Toe, $2,400, and you'll become the new interim champion. All right. Here All right. is... <laughs> Here is your secret category question. All right, Corey. What was the first name of the man who invented the Rubik's Cube? Is it A, Arnold, B, Ernst, C, Erno, or D, Emil? For Tic-Tac-Toe and $2,400, name him. I believe that was Emil. Oh. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. It was actually Erno. Erno, oh, was, Erno. Erno okay. Rubik was his name. So no box there. We'll leave the board as is. $1,200 remains in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. <laughs> Kevin, a break for you, potentially. It's your selection. Gotta go with television for the block. All right. Television for the block, lower left-hand corner. Here comes your question under television. All right, Kevin, for the block. What sitcom most often preceded the Bob Newhart show during its six-year run at CBS? Sorry, right, you cut out. Could you repeat that? Yes. What sitcom most often preceded the Bob Newhart show during its six-year run at CBS? Oh. I, gosh, I'm going to uh, taxi. I don't know. No, I'm sorry. That's in Was it Dick Van Dyke? No, it wasn't. It was actually the Mary Tyler Moore show. Oh, Mary Tyler sense. Moore. All right, no box there. Another twelve, twelve hundred dollars stays in the pot. We'll shuffle the categories. And Corey, you get a second chance at it. Food and drink for the win. All right, question under food and drink at this rate. Tic Tac Toe will be fourteen hundred dollars, and you'll become the new interim champion. Here is your question. All right. What name is given to oysters on the half shell that have been topped with various other ingredients, such as parsley, a rich butter sauce, and breadcrumbs, and then baked or broiled? All right. For tic-tac-toe and $1,400, name the dish. Oysters Rockefeller? You got it for tic-tac-toe. Oh, Nicely yeah. done. Good job, Corey. Thank you. Well played. $1,400 for you to become the new interim champion. And you're going to be playing the bonus round here in just a minute. Kevin, what can I say, sir? You had a very impressive run of games there. And I thought you, for a second, you had a <laughs> chance to um, take down Marty's score. But you're definitely not leaving empty-handed. And you're definitely safely, as of right now, in the Tournament of Champions. Because you're leaving us here... With six game wings total eighty thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. Congratulations, and definitely right. want to have you back for another episode. Thank you very much, Brandon. Good luck, Corey. Thank you. All right, Corey, let me put your fourteen hundred dollars down on your scoreboard here. Now let's go see if you can earn some more money in the bonus round. Here we go. All right. Uh, 
Alright, welcome to Corey, who made it to the bonus round. Let me explain how it works once again. Your objective is to get to $1,000 or find Tick Attack on the board before you find our friend Fluffy the Dragon in the center in order to win the cash. If you get to $1,000, you get your cash pot multiplied by the number of boxes remaining on the board. If you find Tick Attack on any of your two picks, you'll win the Tic Tac jackpot and you'll have a chance to play the super bonus game. The jackpot currently stands at $11,000. But if you can find Ticket Attack in your first two pick, we'll double it to $22,000. All right. Any questions? All right. Of course, remember you... No, nope, let's do it. All right. You can remember, you can stop right. at any given time and take the money you've got and walk. All right? Here we go. Let's shuffle right. the board. All right, Fluffy. Get your stuff up and move somewhere. All right. There's your nine choices. Where would you like to begin? Six. Number six. Let... Right side of the board, behind six. Ooh, there's a tick. If you can find a tack, it will be $22,000. Let's try four. Four across the board. We want to see tack for twenty-two grand behind four. Oh, we've done it! Double yeah. jackpot wow. winner! Nice. Hey. Wow, another $22,000, Corey, for a Tic Tac Double. Now then, let's see if you can really pull off the first Double Double of the season. Alright, seven boxes remaining on the board. Six of them have cash amounts behind it. One of them has our friend Fluffy the Dragon. If you can find that dragon... I will double the twenty-two thousand you just won and make it forty-four thousand dollars in cash. If you don't, whatever cash amount that you find, I will multiply that by ten and add it to your winnings. One right. out of seven shot for forty-four thousand dollars. What's it gonna be? One, two, three, five, seven, eight, or nine? Let's go with seven. Number forty-four thousand dollars. And today we get to do it behind seven. No, but it is $5,000 more. So add that to your wings. You're now up to a grand total for this bonus round of $27,000, giving you a one game cash winnings now total $28,400. Nicely All done. Right. Well played. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the board. Let's see, where was Fluffy Line? I think nine. I'm just curious. Was he behind eight? Did he move? No, he didn't. He's still behind oh eight. Oh, my God. You yeah, lazy no. dragon. Three games in a row, he was behind eight. Oh, we could have had it. Somebody went for it. So close, so close. But that's okay. Corey, you've got $28,400. And, folks, we still have time for another game because we're still... Still got plenty of time left on the clock, so we're going to take another commercial break. We'll be back for one final game of Tic-Tac-Toe right after this. Don't go anywhere. Hey, guys, welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe. Corey pulling off with a successful double bonus in that last bonus game. He's up to $28,400 off of one victory. We're going to see if he can keep his winning streak going now, taking on his next opponent. Playing in the circle position, we have Tim. Tim, Welcome. Hey, how you doing there, Brandon? I'm doing great, sir. How, why don't you tell the folks in YouTube land a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Tim McClellan. I live in Longview, oh. Texas, which is about uh, 90 minutes east of Dallas, Texas, or 60 minutes west of Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh and I'm a van driver. I transport railroad workers. I've been at that for a little over a year, and I like it. And, and uh, I'm just just happy to be here. Oh, fantastic! You ready to see if you can take the interim championship for yourself? I'll uh, see what I can do. Corey's a good game player. He is. Oh, he got. Two great contestants. We've had a bunch of great ones here today, and I'm glad to see the participation growing here on Tic Tac Toe. Well, let's get to our final nine subjects of the day here on Tic Tac Toe. And here they are. We have opponent's choice. 
Secret category, science, fun and games, geography, music, the top ten, take a letter, and potluck. All right, of course, opponent's choice you know. Your opponent gets two categories to choose from. That you, They pick one. You have to answer a question for it to get the box. Secret category, of course, doubles everything in the pot. We've seen it used quite successfully today. And the top ten, of course, is a list category where I have ten answers regarding a certain subject. Whoever gives me the higher answer on the list takes the box. All right? Final game of this episode. Corey, you're the champion. You start. Where would you like to begin? I'll go fun and games in the uh, middle left. Okay, fun and games. Here comes your question. All right, Corey, what color is the cage at the end of the Rube Goldberg-esque machine used in the modern version of the board game Mousetrap? Is it A, red, B, yellow, C, blue, or D, black? If I remember correctly, that's red. Red is correct. Red. Nicely done. Put an X on the board. $200 now in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And Tim, we're over to you for your first selection. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with take a letter. Take a letter, lower right hand corner. Here comes your question under take a letter. Alright, Tim, your letter is T. Letter T. Mm -hmm. What T goes before deck, measure, and recorder? Uh, that would be the word tape. Tape is correct. Nicely done. Put an O on the board. $400 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And, Corey, we're back to you. Let's go find a games in the center again. Find a games in the center. Two-part question here. You'll have some extra time to think about it. Here's your two-part question. First off, the object of what board as taken verbatim from its instructions is to become a millionaire tycoon and the winner? That's the first one. Second one is true or false. The sum of all numbers on a roulette wheel is 666. Is that true or false? Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Corey, which one would you like to answer first? First half. First one. The object of what board game, as taken verbatim from its instructions, is to become a millionaire tycoon and the winner? That is Monopoly. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. It's actually the game of life. The game of life. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can't really become a millionaire so much in Monopoly. But you can, you can earn a million dollars in the game of life. And the second one... The sum of all numbers on a roulette wheel is 666. That's actually true. When you think about it. And this is... Wow. So yeah, something to wrap your mind about next time you want to play roulette. <coughs> anyway, $400 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. <laughs> and Tim, we're over to you for a selection. Uh, that's... Uh... I'm going to try to take a letter again. All right. It worked well for you the first time. Let's see if you can do it again the second time. Here comes your take a letter question. Your letter this time is G. Letter G. What G is a comedian stock and trade or something to stop you from speaking? I believe that would be a... I think that would be a gag. Gag is correct. Nicely done. Put another on the board. Up to $600 now in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And Corey, we come to you. Secret category, please. Get this question correct. Under the secret category, it will be a block, and we will double everything in the pot. You'll be up to $1,200 cash. Here comes your secret category question. Which everyday English word literally means and the rest in Latin? Ditto? Agenda, in situ, or etc. I believe that's etc. Etc. is correct for the block. Nicely done. Nice. Double the pot. Twelve hundred dollars now in the pot. Shuffle the categories. <laughs> and Tim, we're back to you. Well, uh, we go and take a letter again. All right, take a letter in the center box. A two-part question this time, so you'll have some extra time to think about it. 
here are your two letters here come your two letters for this take a letter question they are V as in Victor C as in cookie here here's your letters first off what V are thymine niacin and riboflavin that's that's the V question and your C question is what C is connected with gambling and potatoes what C is connected with gambling and potatoes here's your extra time to think about it <laughs> All right, Tim, which one would you like to answer first? Uh, let's go with the first one. All right, V. What V are thymine, niacin, and riboflavin? Those are different types of vitamins. Vitamins is correct. Now for the center box of $300, what C is connected with gambling and potatoes? I believe that would be chips. Chips is correct. Good job. Put it all on the board there. You got the block in the center. $1,500 now in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. And Corey, we go back to you. I'll do opponent's choice, please. Opponent's choice, lower left-hand corner. All right, of course, you get this question correct. It'll be a diagonal block. All right, and since it's opponent's choice, your opponent gets to choose from these two categories. All right, Tim, do you want him to answer a question under movies or television? Uh, let's give him a question on movies. Movies it is. All right, for, the, for this question and the black, Corey, what 1997 movie finally sank Star Wars from its position as all-time box office champ? For the block, name the movie. Titanic. Titanic is correct. Well done. Wow. Successful opponent choice there. $1,700 in the pot. Got a close one here. Let's shuffle. And Tim, we're over to you. I uh, will go secret category for the win. All right, get this question correct under secret category. It's tic-tac-toe. $3,400. You'll become the new interim champion. You'll be headed to the bonus round. Here comes your question under the secret category. Here it is. In Mark Twain's novel, Huckleberry Finn, and an escaped slave float on a raft down which river? Is it A, the Colorado, B, the Mississippi, C, the St. Lawrence River, or D, the Amazon River? For tic-tac-toe and $3,400, $3, name it. Name it. That would be the Mississippi River. Mighty Mississippi My River is a right answer for Tic Tac Doe. Uh, all right, good game, Corey. Well, game. Yeah. well played by both of you. I, that one could have literally went either way. But, Tim, you walk away with the victory and the interim championship for yourself. $3,400, and you'll be on to the bonus route in just a minute. Corey, you played a heck of a game. You took down a long-standing champion here, but you're not going home empty-handed. We have $28,400 in cash for you, and our thanks for playing. We'd definitely like to have you back for another episode. Thank you. No problem. All right, Tim. Let's see if you can get over here and take down this money. Take on Floppy. Come on. Floppy, I think has a name. Yes. Yeah, that's the name of the dragon. Yes, I, 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 he was being quite rude the first episode, so I called him Fluffy, and the name has stuck ever since. So that uh, is his name. I was hoping somebody would get my reference, but that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't look like I give a shit, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> you better calm yourself down, Fluffy. I will come over there, and I will make sure you make don't eat again. Oh, don't let me come over there and poop in his shoes. Uh, <laughs> all right, Dragon, you and me are going to fight after the show. But right now, I need you to do your job one more time because Tim's ready to win some more money from the bonus board. Tim, the way this works to get a course, you got to get to $1,000 or find Tick and Tech on the board in order to win the cash. 
find the thousand dollars, you're going to get your cash multiplied by the number of remaining boxes that are still on the board. However, if you find Tic Tac on any of your two picks, you'll win the Tic Tac jackpot, which has been reset for the second time this episode, back to ten thousand dollars. But if you can find Tic Tac in your first two picks, we'll double it for twenty thousand dollars. You have a chance to play the super bonus game. All right? Any questions? Mm -hmm. um, and no, we're good. All right. So remember, if you feel like you're going to find the dragon, you can stop and take the money you've won at any given time. All right? Let's shut off the board. All right. Fluffy, go hide and stay there. Like I kind of don't already kind of hope and know where he might be, but we'll see. We'll see if you find it. We'll see what happens. Um, Tim, go ahead and make your first selection. Okay. Well, since she claimed that she knew where Tick and Tech was, I need my good friend Eric up. I'm here. Uh, hey, uh, Tim oh, would okay, like your help okay. in this bonus round. Since oh, you, your pick's been doing so well. I can't hear him right away, but I can hear you. So, advice. Fluffy has been in number eight for the last three games. So, mm -hmm. take that how you want. Um, odd numbers are nice, but I'm not sure. One is iffy. Okay, Seven I should am be okay. going to go... Nine is iffy, so go from there. Damn, I love this girl's analytics. Uh, let's go with, uh... <laughs> Number seven. If the I mean you either have something bad or something great. All right. Yeah. He says number seven is his first pick. All right, let's take a look. Behind number seven. Hundred dollars. All right, you're on the board. Okay. You need nine hundred more or tick and tack. All right. Start small. Work your way up. Uh, I am going to go number. Let's go right. I'm sorry, what number was that, Tim? Uh, that would be number four. Number four, okay. Behind box four, we have... 150. You are literally starting from the bottom and working your way up. All right, you have 250 now. You need 750 more or tick and tack. All right, we're going to keep going here. Uh, let's go with... Uh Ah, what the heck. Let's go number eight. Number eight. No. We've seen the dragon here the last three games. Has he finally gotten up and moved his lazy behind to a different box, or is this going to be game over for Tim? Behind number eight. Oh, my God. The dragon has moved. I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> I had a feeling you did. I really had a feeling you moved. You have 650 now, Tim. You need 350 more or tick and tack. You find that $500 space, it's an instant winner. All right. Um, I am going to I'm going to keep going and uh let's go. Let's go number Number six. Number six. All right. Right side of the board behind number six. We have. Ah, oh. I was very Dang. worried about that number. Dang very it. Worried. Fluffy. Was he at number eight again? Six. No. He was at six this time. He finally got up and ah, moved. He, oh, he actually moved. He did. Yes, he, yes, he did. All right. Well, now he. Move back into Oscar's trash can. Yeah, well, Tim, okay. unfortunately, no money for you this bonus round, but you have the interim championship. You've got $3,400. Let's take a look at the rest of the board, see where everything was. Tick was behind the center box five. Tack was behind number three. All right, so unfortunately, um, no more bonus money, but you'll get to come back and join us next time as our reigning interim champion. See if you can move your way up the leaderboard a little bit with your $3,400, okay? All righty. All right, everybody enjoy the show today? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, so I want to thank you guys for joining me in the audience. I want to thank you guys at home for watching. If you like what you see here on Tic Tac Doe and want to see more episodes, make sure you click that like button. And we'll have lots of surprises and stuff coming up for the next season because we've been already renewed for a second season, which is great. Um, and if you want to become a contestant on Tic Tac Doe or would like to know how you can join the DGSN or any of our great groups here where we have some great games going on all day, uh, just make sure you leave a comment down below, and you can enjoy all the action right here on Tic Tac Doe and as part of the DGSN. But from all of us here at Tic Tac Doe, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for more Tic Tac Doe. I'm Brandon Scruggs. Bye for now, folks.